Yuki, watch out! Huh? It was too late by the time I reacted. Hard impact on my brain. There were stars dancing the walls around my head. Ouch! Gosh, sorry, sorry! You, Chisato! You gotta be kidding me! Uh, what? I apologized. You don't look sorry at all. I mean, it's your fault for not paying attention. Why are you lashing out at me? I swear, it's whatever. That's the type of girl you are anyway. <laughs> I said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll treat you to a drink on the way home. Let's call it even with that. We're besties, right? A whole bottle? Nope, a can. You're so stingy. All right, it's a deal. I'll go home with you, so don't just leave, okay? This insensitive girl is my childhood friend. I was on the boys' basketball team, and Shitsado was on the female basketball team. Yeah, there was a huge difference in our positions. That again. Takayuki is talking to Tanabe-san again. That bench warmer isn't good enough to talk to the MVP of the girls' basketball team. Those two are childhood friends, aren't they? It's not fair that he gets to be friendly with Tanabe-san over a reason like that. Okay, whatever. I got it. It's a deal, so go back to practice. Oh? Are you actually mad? I'm not mad. Really? <laughs> Good boy. What? Pain, pain, go away. Stupid! Stop that, it's embarrassing! Who are you calling stupid, huh? <laughs> Alright, Takayuki. See you later. Whew. I live for this one drink on the way home from practice. You sound like an old man. Come on, come on! What do you think you're saying to a young female student in her prime, huh? Why don't you try to be a bit more elegant? Is that your type? It's not about that, but your practices seem hard. Pretty much. It's almost time for the season to start. I mean, isn't that the same for you? We're totally different. I'm just a bench warmer after all. That's not true. I mean, you're able to keep up with the starting members' practices, right? You're getting better. If you keep it up, you might end up as a starting member soon. You think so? I hope that's the case. It was at that moment, a girl who was walking towards us from the opposite side tripped on a rock and almost fell down. My body moved instinctively. Uh, Watch out! Whew, are you hurt? Uh, I'm okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh no, Takayuki, your hand is bleeding. Huh? Oh, you're right. I think I scraped it. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Don't worry about it. I can just spit on this cut and it'll go away. We can't do that. Let's go wash it off at the park over there. That's very dramatic. You can't just leave it. Please, follow me. Ouch! Does it burn? Yeah, but I get cuts like this all the time during practice. You're not wrong. I'm sorry. This is all I have right now. It's clean, though. No, I can't make that expensive-looking handkerchief dirty. It's fine. Please don't worry about it. You saved me. Perfect. Thank you. Like I said, I should be the one thanking you. You're a funny person, aren't you? Let me borrow this handkerchief. I'll wash it before giving it back to you. You should do that, definitely. You smell like sweat anyway. Uh, you're joking! I thought I wiped myself off properly! This is the life that an athlete has to go through. That means you smell like sweat too, Shitsado. Hey, stop that! If you say anything else, you're going to cause deaths! Are you that stinky? No, I'm saying that I'm going to get you! I've said it many times already, but please don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yes, in fact... In fact? It's nothing. <laughs> All right, let's head home. Y yeah Thank you so much. You be careful on your way home next time, too. Yes, I will. I probably won't meet this girl ever again. That's what Chisato and I were both thinking, but our reunion happened quite quickly. 
This is the freshman, Shioko Matsunaga, and she's going to be the basketball team's manager starting today. My name is Matsunaga. Nice to meet you all. And you're the girl from yesterday. Oh, thank you so much again. What, Nagayama? You know her? Not that well, but we just had a chance to talk yesterday. I see. Either way, I'm sure it'll be helpful for her to have a familiar face. All right, so meeting adjourned. Time for practice. Yes, sir! Just like that, there was a new addition to our team. Um, Nagayama-senpai? How are you? Did you get used to the team yet? I still have a long way to go, but thank you for being considerate. I didn't do much. So, what's the matter? Yes? Uh, here's a towel! Thank you! Wow, it's so soft, it smells so good! It does, right? This detergent smells very sweet, and it's my favorite. I see. I feel bad for getting my sweat on it. Not at all. That sweat is the result of your hard work, senpai. It kind of makes me blush. You look very cool when you're working hard. Uh, I see. Uh, thanks for the towel. I might be able to put in a little more work because of this. Good luck. Uh, what is that hand for? The towel. I'll take it when you're done. No, I'll give it back after I wash it. Oh, no, no. This is part of my job as the manager, after all. Really? Yes, it is. <sighs> hey, Chisato. You look like you're gonna murder someone. What's the matter? <sighs> hey, Chisato, what are you so angry about? I'm not angry at all. You are angry? I mean, what even was that? That? You're talking about Matsunaga? Yeah. She's a good girl. She's cute and hardworking. Yeah, it seems like she's especially attached to you, too. It's not that. You're the only one who got a towel from her. You're very observant, huh? Shut up. Senpai, let's go home together. <sighs> Speak of the devil. Excuse me? Mm, I didn't say anything. Um, did you say your name was Matsunaga? Yes. If you're trying to kiss up, you're doing it to the wrong person. What does that mean? The hierarchy of the basketball team. I'm saying that Takayuki's position isn't that high. He's still a bench warmer. Uh, do you let things like that determine how you act towards people, Tanabe-senpai? I don't think that's a very good thing to do. N no that's not what I'm trying to do! Uh, I guess that's what it sounded like, though. Sorry. You don't need to apologize to me. That's true. You're absolutely right. I'll reflect on my actions. Then, why are you so attached to Takayuki? I mean, Nagayama-senpai is the reason I joined the basketball team. What? Me? Yes, you. What? Why? What is that? I've been interested in you since the day we first met. Um, Nagayama-senpai, are you dating anyone right now? Uh, I'm not, but... I see. Then... Then what about making me your girlfriend? Are you being serious right now? Of course I am. Hey, Chisato, does this mean I'm popular for the first time in my life? How should I know, stupid? But why are you mad at me? I'm not mad. You are mad. Why would I be mad? I'm asking you because I don't know. Forget it. Do whatever you want. What the hell? I'm going home. Bye. Why don't you be lovey-dovey with that underclassman? She gave us her blessing, so maybe we should go hang out, senpai. Oh, hey, Chisato! Huh! <laughs> Chisato actually ended up leaving me. What was that about? Stupid, stupid, Takayuki's so stupid! Even though I always walked these streets to my childhood friend, Chisato Tanabe walked home alone. She didn't dare drop a single step. In the end, she never heard the sound of footsteps chasing after her. Takayuki and Chisato met when they were just kindergartners. Takayuki found Chisato, who was a shy girl unlike how she was in the present day. Hey, what are you doing there? I 
I'm making a castle. Hmm, is it fun? Not that much. Then why are you making it? Because I have nothing else to do. Why don't you play with everyone? I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah, besides, I don't even know how I can be friends with everyone. I see. Yeah, that's why this is okay for me. I'll make it with you then. Huh? That way you won't be alone, and it might even turn out to be fun. Okay. From that day on, Takayuki became Chisato's friend. I slowly drifted away from the friends that I was close to at the time, but Chisato was the one person who didn't leave my side. Uh, hey. You're still mad? I said that I'm not mad. Can you stop acting like you want to start a fight with me then? Um, is that girl not with you today? We don't have practice, so we probably won't see her. Huh? Did, did you turn down her confession then? That was obviously just a joke. Really? It was. Listen, then are you free today? I mean, I don't have any urgent plans or anything. Then you should go on a date with me. It can even be at the gaming center. <laughs> What's so funny? I mean, a date? You should just ask to hang out like we normally do. It's funny because you use an unusual word like a date. I... Huh? I... I'm asking you on a date today. That's why the way I asked is okay. A date? It's okay, right? So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go? Are you not gonna go? Can you make it clear? Is that really how you're supposed to ask someone on a date? <sighs> I'm so embarrassed that I feel like I'm going to die, okay? Then, I mean, I'll go on a date. We will? I mean, you're the one who invited me. Yeah, yeah. Then, can we hold hands then? It's a date, right? That makes me blush a little. <laughs> me too. Come on. Thank you. Let's go? Yeah, let's go. This is super embarrassing. I know, right? I'm probably being too self-conscious, but I feel like I'm being watched too. I know, right? Should I let go of your hand? You can't do that! You're very desperate, huh? Shut up. Uh, the gaming center, right? Yeah. It's been a while, huh? It's good to go once in a while. That's true. We've played around a lot at the gaming center. Token games and fighting games. I even got Chisato the stuffed animal she wanted at the claw machine. It wasn't an extravagant thing or anything. It was a slightly oversized bear. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'll treasure it. Chisato, who hit her red face with a stuffed animal, was exceptionally cute. We decided to play the basketball game at the very end. The players of the game needed to earn points by shooting balls at a moving goal. We have to end with this. You're so right. Let's challenge with a punishment game over the loser. Fine by me. Yay! What about... The loser has to listen to one thing, no matter what it is, that the winner asked them to do. I swear I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> Come at me. I'm the queen MVP of the girls' basketball team. Of course, accuracy was important in this game, but shooting with rhythm was also important. Either way, I needed to continue shooting shots. Take a shot, grab a ball, take another shot. Huh. <sighs> we continued to throw the ball as we competed. Our scores only differed by a narrow margin. Still, I was losing to her. Damn it! I'm not gonna lose. Me neither. I gave it my last burst of energy. Ah! Then, all right, I win. <sighs> Your shots have gotten better. Right? Man, I lost. So, what do I need to do? You do anything, right? As long as it's within my power to do so. Honestly, I didn't care about the punishment at all. But if we're gonna compete, I simply just didn't want to lose. 
I thought I'd ask her to treat me to a bottle of juice or something. That's all I wanted at first. But when I looked at Chisato's face, my feelings came pouring out. Then, be in a relationship with me. I impulsively said it, even when I didn't intend to say those words yet. What? Uh, never mind, I take that back. Nope, you can't do that. I can't? Does that mean you will then? It's a punishment game, right? I guess I'll be your girlfriend if you really want. Why are you acting so high and mighty? You should be happy. And by the way, uh, what were you going to make me do if I lost? Huh? Well, obviously, if I won, you were going to be my boyfriend. It seems like the result would have been the same whether we won or lost. Still, I guess this was a happy ending. Probably. The following day. Senpai, good job at practice today, too. Yeah, thank you. You put in so much energy today. You're sweating a lot. That's true. I've been seriously thinking about trying for a spot on the starting team. Did something happen? If I act too lame, I feel like she'll end up getting tired of me. I'm not really sure what you're talking about, but here's a towel. All right, that's it. What? What are you doing so suddenly? Listen, there's something I have to tell you today. Excuse me? He's mine, so I want you to stop bothering him. Don't tell me that you two started dating. Well, yeah, something like that. Wow, congratulations! Thank you. Aren't you upset about it? That's true, I am a little upset, but I feel like this is how it was supposed to end. Huh? That was the extent of your feelings then? Besides, I don't care as long as he uses my towel. Huh? W what does that mean? I love Nagayama Senpai's smell. I thought that I'd be able to sniff him however much I wanted if I became his girlfriend, but I guess I can't do much about that now. I'll continue to be okay with just sniffing his towels from now on. So, you have a scent fetish? Yes, some people call it that. Takayuki, let's run away! Huh? Her eyes are crazy. She has a genuine fetish. Oh, please wait. I didn't get today's sweat yet. I'm not going to give a drop of Takayuki sweat to someone like you. Don't say that. Don't be so stingy. You can't. I swear, you can't. Their lively voices echoed around the gymnasium.